Welcome inside the Luke Urban Fieldhouse here at Durfee High School. Evan Massoud and Vic Pereira joining you once again. More big three hoops, but this is the biggest. It's the playoffs here at the MIAA State Tournament on FRED TV. Hello and welcome. We're glad that you're here with us. And believe me, I'm glad you're with me again because my superstitious side after the New Bedford win says absolutely. had to have Vic alongside again. Yes, absolutely. I'm great to be here. Uh, Going to be a great game time. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, uh, Durfee can pull out another great win and, uh, and to stay on and, and move on into the tournament. All right, so this is the South Division I preliminary round. Uh, there are 18 teams. Had to dwindle them down to a sweet 16, if you will, and then we go into, you know, elimination from there. So Durfee on the bubble got in, and uh, Brockton as well, both 10-10 and 10 this season. And, uh, you know, kind of a tough luck. We were just talking about it. When you have a team, uh, two teams that are tied with the same record, it doesn't go down to head-to-head -to -head matchups. Even though Brockton beat us twice, it goes to a coin toss. Durfee won the toss. Here we are back at home. Yeah, and again, um, very surprised when they told me that Bro uh, Durfee was playing Brockton at home. I said, how did that happen? Yeah. You know? But again, uh, you know, the MIAA decided to a three-way tie, flip the coin, and... Uh, I think Durfee got, got the upper hand here with a home game. Well, that's the goal. Coach Guimond, I just spoke to him before the game, and uh, he said, you know, having the home game is immense. That was the word he used. And, uh, and I would agree with him because, you know, this is going to be our biggest crowd of the year. It's going to be loud. Uh, the sixth man is well attended. And, again, you know, I agree with them. And it's tough to beat a team three times. Yeah. And hopefully with Durfee playing at home could be the edge. It takes, it takes them over and beat the boxers tonight. All right, well, the uh, starting lineups is still being announced. We're going to run through the starting uh, five for Brockton. You want to take those or you want me to take them? You can take them, man, but I'll take the easy one. I'll take the, I'll take the Hilltoppers. <laughs> if you guys saw the broadcast, uh, Greg Sullivan from the Herald joined me in that uh, first matchup. <laughs> and, uh, boy, we got our money's worth with the names, let me tell you. Uh, quite a challenge for Brockton. Number 10, DeMar J. Taylor. Number 11, Karan Harris. Number 15, Abu Kaba. Number 24, Etanosa. Oakenburr and number 25, Nabil Furbler. The Brockton Boxers are coached by longtime coach Robert Bowen. And for the Hilltoppers, uh, with starters tonight, number two, Chaitan Nera. Number five, Nick Salmon. Number 14, Joe Kamara. Number 22, Nilan Nera. And number 30, Brendan White. Head coach, Jamison Guimond. All right, we got our special guest here singing the national anthem again. He's done it a couple times this season. Mike Almeida is going to sing the national anthem, so we're going to take a quick pause as we pay tribute to the red, white, and blue.
Boy, Mike D. Almeida has some pipes, Vic. He sure does, man. He's <laughs> rocking the house tonight. Hopefully, uh, the Hilltoppers could rise to the same occasion here tonight to bring this up, uh, to raise the roof here at the Luke Urban Fieldhouse and the Thomas Skip Karen Basketball Court. I mean, you know this building, Vic. You played here. You won a title here. This is a special place. And while maybe it and, may uh, not be as jam-packed right. as back in the day, the spirit is still there. Absolutely, and again, it's it's that school spirit and that uh, extra extra push that you would need when when time gets times get tough, and that crowd's behind you that gives you that extra push. And they got out the terrible towels too, as they call them, red Durfee Hilltopper towels. Uh, kind of a football thing, really. Uh, you know, see some of the pro stadiums. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers come to mind. They yep. have the terrible towels going. Right. Well, Durfee's got those going. Bunch of red and black. Bunch of fans on both sides of, this, of the court here. Uh, should be a great game. Brockton, a big team, bigger than Durfee, yep. and they start with the ball. Good take, number 15. Again, jump ball will go to Durfee on wow. possession. Again, Durfee's going to do, do, do a great job tonight, Evan, of boxing out. Uh, they struggled a little bit against, against New Bedford, who was a smaller team mm -hmm. size-wise, but Durfee's going to play very aggressive on the defensive end today in order for them to have a chance to be in this game. Nick Salmon going to take the ball oh, out nice here. Nice curl. Nilanera can't Nilanera. put it up. Chathan is Chathan there for the rebound. the rebound. Big, big presence here defensively, but he's able to free himself. Joe Kamara loses the ball after an errant pass. Oh, that's a kick on Brockton. He's going to reset the shot clock for Durfee ball. You know, going back, I have that first game between these two teams that was here. Uh, not Durfee's road game, of course, but um, the first time Brockton came here, Nick Salmon fouled to go to the line. And it was a 61-42 game. Brockton has really limited Durfee offensively. Yeah. But at the same time, Durfee was not shooting too well either at that time. So, uh, you know, a little different story over the yeah. last couple games. Foul on number 15, Kaba, his first. Salmon on the line for two, knocks the first one down. So he gets the scoring started. You know, um, Durfee played Attleboro. It was a back and forth game, high scoring game, but Attleboro is about as tough as it gets as well. And uh, Hilltoppers put up 80 points against them. So they got to feel good, even though they lost that game. They're shooting better now than they did midway through the season. Yeah, that's key. I think because Durfee struggled here the last time they played the boxers on scoring. And um, they got to find ways to score, moving that ball around, making, making Brockton play defense. And, and Coach Guimon said that they have done a much better job at doing that. That's an outside shot by DeMar J. Taylor. White, great rebound. White had oh. a great game. Gets it out to Nick, uh, Nick Salmon. But White had a great game against New Bedford last time we were here. They're going to find him underneath. He's going to wait. Ooh, that little too much on that. That's like kind of a spring shot. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> I, I think Brandon might have thought he might have had some contact here and try to draw the foul. Kind of rushed it a little bit. So one nothing here, Durfee. Uh, just getting started. Teams trying to feel each other out here. Durfee in the 2-3 zone. Uh, trying to slow the pace of the game down. And, um, and it kind of is working right now. Trying to get to That's the basket. And then, yes, Abu Kaba gets the scoring started for the boxers. And they are up on a quick 2-1 here. Joe Kamara thought about the three. Had some trouble with the outside shot in that last game. Brendan White hit one. And he'll hit He's one got here. got it. Do we already have a timeout? Oh, we have a player down on the court. We're going to injury timeout. Brendan White with a three ball. And in that New Bedford game, we roll back a page here. Uh, White had one from downtown in that one. He had 13 points. Uh, Ferbal coming out. I don't know if it was an ankle injury or something, but he did walk off the court on his own. That's a good sign. Always a good uh, sign, yeah. We never want to see anybody get hurt. You're right. It's part of the game, but you never want to see it. This is for three for the boxers. That's tipped back out. Who wants it? Again, Good. that the offensive rebound on Brockton is going to be uh, something Durfee needs to kind of contain tonight. I gotta say, though, the Durfee D with a lot of headache. Forced travel. to travel, yeah. I mean, they're playing with intensity right out of the gate here. You can definitely see it. I like, I like the aggressiveness on the, on the uh, defensive end, a good movement uh, on that zone. But we got to box out, Evan. No second shots. No second shots, you're right, because if you get it, if you get the, um, if they miss the shot, you can't give them the second look here. Salmon can't Salmon, put it great in. Great move, just can't finish. And there was the box, and out. the boxers did that, did it well, got the rebound. You know, we may have uh, special guests here at halftime. We'll see. But I saw Coach Skip Karam 
before the game, and I told him, yeah. Coach, you come on up if you want. We got a mic for you. So he said maybe around halftime. Yeah, we'd love so, to have, we'll have uh, Coach Cam here. Yeah. Uh, great, knowledgeable coach. I had the pleasure of playing for, for such a great high school coach. Um, not only is a great coach, but what a wonderful person, and it's always nice seeing your former coach at the games. Of course. Oh, it doesn't oh. fall, but the second look, it, it, I think it was Kaba. I think he tipped it back in after it almost didn't go. And once again, those second shot seven is going to be Durfee's downfall here. They got to put a stop to the. You got to put a body on every shot. Get, get your butt on people. And that's a great move by Nick Salmon. Got to make them, guys. Mm. Two easy bunnies there by Nick. Took the ball hard to the basket. Just couldn't finish. They're going to go outside to Taylor. Taylor going to go around the horn. They find Kaba. Almost a travel there, kind of a stutter step on the pass, but nothing doing. They'll get back down to Harris. Harris inside the paint to Okenburg. Out back to Taylor for three. That was fantastic ball movement right yeah, there. Not a lot of patience there. They reversed the ball two or three times. When you're patient like that, you're going to get wide open looks. Brendan White in the paint, spin move. They're going to call a travel. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what that I is. I don't know about you. That's a great spin <laughs> move there. I thought he's kept his dribble there, Ev. Uh, Brendan White being aggressive on the offensive end, which is nice to see. I yeah. thought that was a good basket, but what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> well, three officials in the playoffs, so yeah. you got an extra set of eyes there. Didn't see Coach Gimon looked at uh, Matt Kurt on the you know, assistant coach there, and uh, no words really. They just kind of looked at each other like, huh? Yeah, you go to part of going over strategy, what, you know, what's he seeing? It's always nice having. Matt Kurt, a very knowledgeable coach, head coach of Bishop Conley, took him to the state championship, went on to coach uh, King Phillip, another great basketball program, great basketball mind. Again, you have two guys there who could be head coaches anywhere in the state. And, you know, let's remember, too, Matt Kurt learned from another great Billy Shea, been Absolutely. around forever across yeah. the street. So, yeah. uh, you know, seriously, now Nil and Nera wants three. That's no good. And the Hilltoppers have gone scoreless for the last couple minutes. Yeah. And that, kind of know, a slow start, actually, for both sides, really. Yeah, that's their Achilles heel is they, they find these lulls of, of scoring, and they can't do that against, against a pretty good team like Brockton. There's uh, another outside shot. White able yeah. to tip it. Joe Kamara gets it. Looks like he wants the shot. He loses it. Foul. Two shots. Number 10, Taylor, his first foul. And Kamara will go on the line. So yes, Taylor picks up foul number one. And Joe Kamara shooting two. Got to say, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but um, pretty impressive that Derby hasn't committed a foul halfway through this first quarter because we know they've been foul heavy in certain games this season, especially games yeah. that are bigger games and uh, play a little too much. Right, very impressed with Durfee's patience on the defense. have been not reaching, playing good, solid team defense. Two shots made by Joe Kamara. And it looks like Durfee's not in a 2-3. Uh, They're in a 3-2. Kind of spreading that yeah. zone out, Evan. Yeah. So um, try to get to the shooters on the wing. Um, well, they know Brockton can hit the outside shots. They yeah. had plenty of them in that first meeting. Uh, particularly, it was Precious Oka, who is not in the starting lineup. No good, boxing out. They yeah. still oh, get it. Two, two. Back underneath for the foul and two shots. But, uh, you know, looking at Oka, number 14, who, like I said, he's not in the starting five tonight. Uh, he had four from downtown alone in that game. So yep. it was, uh, there were plenty of threes to go around, and I know Durfee wants to limit that. Okay, that foul was on Chayton Era, his first, T's first. Um, and the first shot missed. By number 24. That's uh, Etenoso Okenbur. Okenbur. And a couple of subs here now. So um, Sonny Okenlola. Coming into the game along with uh, Tariq Yaya, number 23. Two shots missed. Nil and Nero with the rebound, and the Hilltoppers could take the lead back right here. Go out to Joe Kamara for the three. No good. Nick great Salmon. Great offensive rebound. Brendan White getting his hands in there. He did. A great job. And Nick Keep was in the right place up. at the right time, Vic. Oh, nice move by Chief and Nero. Oh! Good finish. Almost! And Brendan White, nothing he could do there. Tried oh, to bounce it off of uh, Taylor. That's a great hustle play. That's a great job. White calling for it. Going to put a move. And it's blocked. Oh. Joe can't put it back up. Everybody got to get right back. They have the numbers. Five on three defensively for Durfee. Had to wait for the stragglers to right. come back. 
But again, is Jeffrey's got to make those shots. Got to you know, make those shots. Very it's high percentage shots. You got to knock them down, Evan. Six easy points that uh, have not gone their way underneath. So exactly. it could be a 12-7 Durfee lead right. right now. Brockton's missing shots too, though, so that's the saving grace. Joe says, I'll take the three. Got it! Got it. He finally got his three. Boy, he put up a ton of them in that New Bedford game and just didn't have the luck. Didn't have one. In fact, he didn't get any points in the New Bedford game. So Joe with four, got a, a five. Got to feel good here in the first quarter. Yeah, you lead an all scorer so far, Evan, with five points. It's a travel. Very nice. And more subs. Uh, we're going to see Tyshawn Lopes substitute for Brendan White. Tyshawn Lopes, who gave the uh, Deerfield Hilltop a great boost that last game against uh, against the, the Whalers. Um, coming off the bench and did a great job scoring like eight, 16 to 18 points mm -hmm. um, and gave him that burst to, to beat to beat the Whalers to be in the tournament. Nilanera has to go back outside with it. Too much traffic. That's a travel or a goal and a foul. Well, they got a foul, I believe. I think the foul came before the travel. Looks like mm -hmm. he could have traveled there. But it the certainly foul, did. Foul came before the travel. The officials uh, going to talk or, it over. I know. What are they calling here? They are, they are discussing it. Who's going to make the call? Oh, it's a travel before the foul. Coach Giedemann does not like that call. No, but you know, I, I thought the foul came before the travel. Yeah. Uh, but the baseline official who had, who had the right position on that call mm -hmm. kind of overrid the other side uh, official. So uh, travel on the Hilltoppers. So that's a turnover. Yep. And Durfee will. Now we got the number 31 in for Durfee, uh, Brendan Cavallo, uh, giving Joe Kamara a break, who Joe played very hard. Those, those uh, first few minutes in this first half, first quarter. Yeah, and you know, with the playoffs, you can expand the roster. That's good from downtown. And there's Oka with the three as he's just into the game and he's already sunk one. But uh, yeah, Cavallo, one of those roster expansions. Yeah. Um, uh, Add-ons, Remy Dumont, another, as well as uh, Shaheem Van Putten, yeah. another one. Oh, look at that nice. from Nick Salmon. Good recovery. If he got lucky there, told up, kind of bobbled the ball, thought it was going to be turned over, but they caught the break. Nick got it, finished it. Um, so far, I like the way I like the way um, the game plan of, of the Hilltoppers, Coach Game on his staff, coming into that two-three zone, making Brock and beat you from the outside. And that's what's happening is it's either hit or miss from outside. Yep. Brockton's not getting the inside look. Yep. Out to Tyshawn Lopes. This looks good. Oh, it's just off the hey, rim. Look good from this from this angle, yeah. Evan. You're right. A little long. Right. Again, you can live with that. Uh, Chaitin did a great job uh, penetrating down the middle and kicking it out. Open look. Just didn't go down. If you can believe it, Vic, only 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Boy, it's gone by fast. It does. Um. <laughs> Especially when it's a uh, sudden death game. They tend to, the clock tends to go even faster. Here we go. Five seconds. Going to end up taking an outside shot. No, they'll drive the lane. No good. Quick turnaround. No fouls. No yes, shot. No shot. Durfee leads after one by one. 11 to 10 the score. Really good first quarter. I mean, again, some points, as we said, Vic, that uh, were missed by Durfee. Probably six easy buckets, six points there. Oh, absolutely. Three easy buckets that couldn't go. But, uh, wow, look who's here. Tom Tarpey from New Beige. The... AD here, how are you Tom? Nice to see you. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, if Durfee made those, say, three other baskets, it, it'd be in a seven point lead right now. Exactly. Uh, again, I, 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 like, I like the defensive game plan that uh, Coach Kimon and his staff have put together, that three, two zone, spreading it out, contesting every shot. If they box out, I mean, they take care of that basketball. Durfee's going to have a good chance of beating this game at that fourth quarter. You know, we'll, we'll wait and see. Again, a lot of basketball to be played, but um, good first look, yes. And, I mean, when you face a team twice already, you, there's going to be some adjustments made, and you, you have to think that, to your point, you, it's really tough to pull off a three-game sweep. Right. And, you know, you look at game film, and you're looking at their tendencies and what they run, and um, they're familiar with that. And, again, um, Coach Game on his staff, I, I think, have a really good plan here. Ho hopefully can continue to work. Um, if Brockton starts shooting the ball well from the outside, now Durfee's going to have to adjust. And until then, I think Durfee should stay in this 3-2 zone, kind of giving Brockton some fits. 
All right, you're watching the MIAA State Tournament here on FRED TV. Evan Massoud and Vic Pereira with you in game one here of the playoffs. It's the preliminary round. Durfee hosting Brockton, the South D1 bracket. A well-rounded education is one that not only is academically oriented, but one that also includes physical, social, and emotional development. Interscholastic athletes provide the other half of education. The MIAA encourages you to support your local high school athletic programs and teams throughout the school year. And uh, both sides came up empty there on their first possessions, so we're coming back here the other way, and it looks like a foul down on the baseline. It looks like it's on um, oh. Nila Nera with his first foul, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. A little bit too aggressive with the arm bar, kind of extending it. Uh, can't really push him, shove him out of, out of the way. Yeah, and you know what? We saw um, Black 35 with a push. Oaken Lola is first. Team's third. You know, and we saw, you know, Nillen with the elbow. He drew a tech in that New Bedford game, and I looked back at the tape, and it was it was the he elbow the again. So, yes. Yeah, so, you know, yes. got to be, you really got to be careful of that. And, yep. you know, these officials, they talk too. I mean, yes. they know I what to watch for. They don't right. come in just completely you ignorant. You always want your players to be aggressive, but yeah. you don't want you, you want to be overly aggressive to, to do anything foolish. Yeah. So to that point, though, these officials may know about that already. You right. think they're watching Nillen a little more? Well, again, it's, it's just a tournament game, and they're, yeah. they're really... At the tournament level, you, you, you know the intensity is going to be up a notch. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be really cognizant of, of these type of fouls. Mm -hmm. But also knowing the intensity is up, you don't want to just be too quick with the whistle either, Correct. right? Yeah, yeah you got to let him play, but the, the obvious stuff you've got to call. Yeah. Um, uh, travel call on uh, number 23. Again, Durfee's D is really causing yeah, a lot of turnovers, and I'm liking it early. Here, starting at that, that second quarter, Brock has turned it over twice. Toppers need to take advantage here and grab some points now. It's still an 11 to 10 game as we're just over a minute into the second quarter. Tyshawn Lopes pulls up. Going to try to sink the teardrop. No good. And Joe Kamara back Great in. Hustle. Gets the rebound. Chathan Nero going to try to put a move on in the paint. Throws oh. it up. No good. And he's going to get back. And looks like he's going to get yeah, called Ch on a foul. Chathan Nero just could, couldn't angle off and bided him up. So that's his second. So what, so what does Coach Guimond do here? Does he, does he keep Chaitin in the game, or does he take him out with two fouls on a big game like this? I think he might have to take him out, rest him for a little bit with two, and that's what he's doing with Brendan White checking in. I assume that he's coming in for Chaitin, for Chaitin with two fouls. We shall see who's yeah. going to get the ball. Brockton using the height. This is for three, going to be wide to the right. Who's got it? Joe Kamara has it. And uh, still no points to be had here first two minutes into this second quarter. I'll kind of redirect here. Nick Salmon will get the ball. Back out to Chathan Nera. Down to the corner to Nillen. Now to Joe Kamara. Joe going to drive the lane. Puts it up. Banks it in for two. Joe Kamara with seven of the points for Durfee yeah. tonight. That's a great take. Good, strong move. Durfee ball after a miss there from uh, Precious Oka. I don't know. Brockton, Oko. Brockton looks like a little out of sync here. Um, the problem is Durfee's yes. going to make the shots and build up a lead here while they're out of sync. I, I, again, <laughs> they continue with this defensive intensity. I, I, again, that they're going to be in this game. And um, Coach was saying, um, you know, Brockton always has one big run, it seems, in them every time they play him. This is for three. That's too long from Nillen in the corner. But he said Brockton always has one big offensive run. If we can hold him and limit that, then we're going to do our job and we're just going to score. Right. Another missed shot, another rebound for yeah. Durfee. Lopes. His first. Again, Lopes a little bit out of control. He should have slowed it down a bit. Nothing there. Kind of forced it a little bit. Came in hot and heavy. Yeah. Again, just no break. Pull it out. The ball movement's been great on, on the offensive end. Um, again, can't afford those type of turnovers. But I like the aggressiveness on Lopes. Uh, only a sophomore. Evan, mm. you know, he's got a bright future here, here at Durfee. I talked to Coach Bowen for Brockton before the game, too. I said, you know, Coach, I said, you beat us twice. What are you going to do to get a home game? <laughs> and he said, well, he said, you know, we're happy to be back here. And uh, we're going to do what we got to do. And that's a three ball there from Jerese Harris just three. into the game. Number 13. That's three three-pointers on the boxer side with two on the Durfee side. Again, Taken away right over. there. 
Totally stripped away. Tipped away now. Right back Makes to White. Right back. You're a little bit of karma. He loses it, but Nick Salmon's there to take care of it. He's going to go to the hoop, and a travel is called. And now a couple fans uneasy with that call. I, I didn't <laughs> see a travel there. Uh, you know, I, he looks like he, he was the ball dribbling. was moving was, the whole time. Yeah, and I saw you know the ball was moving. It's like he didn't pick up his dribble. Um, again, that's where we're sitting here, and they they got the zebra stripes heaven, <laughs> right? Well, don't the zebra stripes kind of go across? That these are like more like you know yeah. jail stripes. Yeah. Like, I, always, I always call them zebra stripes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Another foul now. This is um, so this should be on Durfee. It is yes. Fifth foul for Durfee, and number five, Nick Salmon, his first. So f two shots uh, coming here for Tyshawn Glenn Doherty, just into the game, his first opportunity for points, and he'll miss that first one. The uh, Boxers 0 for 3 at the line so far. Three, Small yeah. sample size, but still, every point counts. Yeah, Durfee yeah. 3 for 4. He makes the second one. Second. And we got a substitution here for Durf, uh, for Brockton, rather. Number 24, Etinosa Okenberg coming back in, one of the five starters for Brockton. I'll tell you, looking at the um, the fouls here, Durfee with three second quarter fouls. We're only halfway through it. Two in the entire first quarter. Right. Again, no foolish fouls because you don't want to put the team in the penalty too early because every foul will be, will be a free throw, Ed, you know? Yeah. Nick having to get rid of it. Couldn't do anything. Shot clock at 13. Moving Nil and Nera over. Nick trying to go with the teardropper. No good. And it'll be a rebound for you know, Brockton. You can get something better than that. A little forced shot there. And you can't, again, Brockton being sloppy on the other end as well. They are really. It's not been a pretty game. I mean, geez, these two teams to only have a 14 to 13 game right now with Brockton ahead. Durfee with just two points this quarter. We're halfway through it. Only four points for Brockton this quarter, so not the prettiest of pictures here. Well, Durfee's gonna continue to move that ball around and continue to be patient. Um, I can sense that, ooh. I can sense that Brockton's man-to-man -man pressure has gotten more aggressive, Evan. Yeah. You know? Okay, okay Taylor's second foul on Marks' side, team's fourth. Yeah, he had one foul in the first. This is his first here in the second, so two for the game. Uh, very, very quick explanation to Coach Bowen. Didn't seem to put up much of a fight or anything. But definitely questioning the call. That was on the floor, so no shots here. Joe will inbound. Looking for Tyshawn Lopes, and it's a bad pass. Too much on it. I think he saw the one of the boxers was coming baseline to try yeah. to tip it, and I think Joe tried to avoid him yep. and just put a little too much behind the throw, the pass. Yeah, now, Durfee's in a 2-3 zone here. Yeah, so change it up a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure I like that because it gives you less people outside yeah. to guard the outside shot, which we just saw. Luckily, right. another miss, but... Foul's on 22. That's Nick drawing that foul right there. Going, Cohen right in there on Lewis Charles. Lewis Charles. It's actually Marcinel Lewis Charles, hyphenate last name there. So Lewis, not the first name. <laughs> Both teams now with five fouls. Joe Camaro will get the reprieve on the inbound here. Tyshawn will get it. Cleaner pass. Now Brendan White met with defense. Yeah, the man-to-man -man definitely changing up here for yes, Brockton. I mean, it's gotten a lot tighter. Oh. Nick Salmon can't put it up. Going to try to keep it in. He does to Tyshawn Lopes. Now to Nilan Nera. Nilan throws it away. Joe is there to get it back. And uh, with 12 on the shot clock, they'll find Nick underneath baseline trying to bank it in. He can't. And Brockton comes away with it. Durfee comes up empty. Brockton throws it away. Should go back the other way it does. Real sloppy right, second sloppy. quarter. It's like, it's my like gosh. A hot, hot potato. <laughs> right? I hot know. Hot potato out there. Not pretty yeah. at all. I mean, we're talking a total of six points here in the first five minutes oh. of the second quarter. Gabe the Oliveira came in the game, giving Lopes a break. I thought Lopes played, played a nice few minutes here for Durfee. Uh, played within himself. Uh, took some great shots, even though they didn't go in. But, um, oh, uh, tipped away and taken by Kaba. You know, Kaba fouled, nice no shot though. You know, you always want to say you never leave your feet on a pass, and that was, that was what Nick did. 
Joe Kamara picking up the first. foul. Durfee with just one more to give, Vic. Well, I think fouls are coming hot, and I think that's because of that's the, the bonus. That's that's the, I think I have seven here. Is it seven? Uh, six. No, six. First shot by Kaba is made. He's got five points in the game. I think uh, that man-to-man -man tightening up is, is what's helping Durfee or helping the Brockton draw those fouls. Yeah. Durfee's not finding. Uh, Did he make two? Both of them made, yeah. yep. All right, so now, now Brockton's back in the lead here. Durfee's going to score here. Uh, a little drought here, Evan. Be little, little drought is right. A little sloppy on the uh, offensive end. Turning the ball over, not getting good shots. This is for three in the tie. Nillen can't sink it. White is there. Puts it up. That won't fall. Brock Kimond is hot right now. He's not happy. Yeah, Brockton not allowing Durfee any second shots. Good passing from Brockton. Really moving the ball with authority. Looks That's like an offensive foul. foul. Nick Salmon hitting the turf. And Coach Bowen's not happy now as well. Both coaches not yeah, pleased. I, I definitely lowered the shoulder there. Oh, yeah. Uh, no question on you. Not a flagrant, but definitely. Nick Salmon held his ground. Yeah. He ducked. He, he dipped the shoulder. Got hit. Yeah. And I think Nick was taking those acting classes in theater this, this week. <laughs> uh, kind of sold it pretty well, too. Evan. <laughs> he could have won an Oscar award last night. You well, know? you know, it could be the last game. So if you got a flop, then just fall down yeah, and take it, why right? Not? <laughs> right? He'll, he'll still never fall as much as the Montreal Canadiens. Exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Kamara for three! <laughs> Tell you, Joe Kamara carrying his team on his back with 10 points. This is for a long three. Nilan Nera gets the rebound. And the crowd will let him hear the air ball. D. Oliveira now. He'll take the shot. Nick is going to come in for the rebound. Take a second here. Back out to Gabe who wants the reprieve. And that's good! Six straight points for the Hilltoppers. They lead by three. And, and Durf doing a great job of offensive rebound and getting those second shots, Evan. Keeping it alive. Foul called on D. Oliveira, his first. Jerfie seventh, so bonus shots now for Brockton. Oh, what a nice transition that was. Talking about six quick, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a game of runs, Evan. You know? <laughs> it certainly is. You got two three-minute drought and two three minutes of high scoring. Oh, this was a one and one, my bad. It was yeah. not two shots. And another miss from Okenbur, so he's um, 0 for 3 at the line with zero points to his name so far. Joe Kamara, he is fouled, and now Durfee in a bonus. Seven fouls for Brockton. Kaba, his second foul. Kamara in the line for one and one. Joe, the only player into double digits right now. Boy, you are so right. He is carrying the team, and that one misses, though. If it wasn't for Joe Kamara, I think uh, this would be a pretty game here, uh, Evan. No, it wouldn't. Side. It would not be. We have 60 seconds to play before the half. Almost losing it, and he does. Another turnover caused by the Durfee defense. I'll tell you, if there's one saving grace, Vic, the Durfee D has come to play tonight. They have, and I, I give them credit. They, they, their intensity on a defensive end is keeping them in this game. And I gotta say, I mean, there's really been no major run. So we haven't really seen any timeouts called or anything. There's been a very quick first half here. You know, you know, as a coach, if you, if you see a team kind of getting a little bit helter skelter, Ed, you always try to try to call a timeout to calm them down. Yeah. Especially during a tournament game where the, the anxiety and the excitement is high. You always want to get your kids to really calm down. And as a coach, you always, always like to use one of those timeouts to say, listen. Let's, let's get back, let's take a deep breath, and let's get back into what we, what we need to do. Precious Oka with another three. Again, four of them in the first game we saw here. And now two off Precious the bench. Precious Oka, two field goals and two threes, six points. Ties it up at 19. Durfee with the shot clock off has 15 seconds to take the lead back before the half. Salmon out to Nilanera. Back to, that's Carvalho. Oh. And he's going to throw it away. No, they keep it in. Six seconds. And that's no good. And now the boxers, no, De Oliveira with one second is going to take a shot. And he did not see the clock. And yeah. no, that, that's well, it's tough that's, court awareness. So you got to yeah, know those things. But the thing is the court awareness, right? You know, clock management. Yeah. Um, 
But I like the hustle on, on, on the hilltopper side. Got no second shots. Uh, great, great uh, first half. Oh, yeah. Uh, basketball. 1919 uh, was a game of sports. Um, Durfee looked ugly at, at, at times. Brockton looked ugly at times. Not really taking care of the ball, making foolish mistakes. But uh, Joe Kamara is uh, uh, my first half MVP. Of oh, yeah. My gosh. Ten points for Joe. Uh, I mean, the only thing he did wrong was he <laughs> he missed that free throw there at the end of this at the end of this first half. That could have been the difference in Durfee leading or, or tied right now. Right. Um, again, great game plan by, by Coach Guimond and the staff of really coming out to that 3-2 zone, 2-3, two, keeping Brockton off balance. Um, and doing a pretty decent job on the offensive end of moving that ball around. Kind of got away from it a little bit for a few minutes, but really got back into that, really passing the ball. And uh, give credit to Brockton's defense. I think that man-to-man -man got a little more aggressive yeah. towards the middle of the second quarter. You know, looking back at the uh, meeting from January 13th when the boxers were last here, Durfee had a 10-9 lead at the end of one quarter, much like tonight, 11-10. to And then they went into the half trailing 22-15. to Well, right now we're tied at 19. So some adjustments definitely have been made. Absolutely. And, uh, again, is uh, you look at the game tape and, and see, you know, what they're doing, what – Durfee was not doing it at that game, and how do you need to improve mm -hmm. and prepare? Uh, if Durfee rebounds, which they've done a pretty good job of that, Evan, uh, not allowing too many second shots, and take care of the ball here and get, get a good shot every possession, we should, you know, we should be there. We should be there. Well, might as well be a nothing nothing score because we're right back where we started, square one. So the third quarter is coming up next. It's the MIAA State Tournament on Fred TV. Evan and Vic, back after this. Welcome back to the Fieldhouse. Evan Massoud and Vic Pereira with you here for the South Division I preliminary round. Durfee hosting Brockton. And Vic, we're right back where we started. It might as well be a nothing-nothing game. 19-19 the score. Um, pretty good first half. I'm, I'm happy with the effort of, of, of our Hilltoppers. Um, Coach Guillemot, again, great game plan. I, I, I think if they continue with this with this type of plan and that type of effort, we're gonna be in, it's going to be a game. Um, I just want to see how Brockton comes back this second half mm. on their defensive end, how intense they're going to bring that defense, which gave Durfee a lot of issues the last time they met. It certainly did. And, you know, again, Brockton's still capable of going on a run, lickety split. So haven't really seen that tonight and uh, kind of scared to know if that's going to happen or not. Durfee's going to establish their defense right away too. Right. So Hilltoppers uh, have possession of the ball. Chate Denera. Uh, now they cut, Brockton comes with that trapping defense. Joe Kamara takes it. Missed Can't shot. get it to go. Here comes Brockton running the ball. Yep, that's uh, number 11 there, and that's a miss. And a late foul that's coming. Over the top. Number 15. That's his third. Cobb is third. Again, let's see what Coach Bowen does. Does he take Cobb out with three, or does he keep him in the game? Uh, looks like he's going to keep him in right now, but Cobb does have three. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Brendan White wants to start the scoring, and it's good from downtown. His second of the night. Well, uh, first half score is uh, Joe Kamara led, this, led Durfee with three points. Um, oh, what a rebound. Travel. A travel call, though, on Oakenborg. Not sure, Vic. Uh, that was a tough one, but uh, <laughs> unbelievable athleticism on an offensive rebound. Yeah. Uh, but Talk got, about going up the ladder. You know, we've got to put bodies on people, uh, Ev. You know, you always want to put body on these people to kind of bump them away from the basket. Once they gain momentum to the, to the hoop, forget about it. It's too late. Well, now, because this is the prelims, the winner of this game, as Nick Salmon puts it up, no good, and Coach Gimon wanted a foul. The winner of this game gets a date in Mansfield against the number one seed. And uh, Durfee's been to Mansfield before a couple years ago. And, uh, you know, many fans that were there for Durfee's side will say that Durfee totally got shafted, <laughs> if you will. That's the best way right. to say They got the, the short end of the stick in that game. I was not there. I was at the girls' game uh, up in Quincy when Brianna Kamara led the Lady Hilltoppers back for that comeback. But right. I know Durfee was on the road. Uh, the boys were in Mansfield. And uh, there are many people who are still not happy with how that game ended up. Right. Nick Salmon for a quick three, and it's no good. I tell you, Durfee, I like the ref for uh, a lot of hustle. Again, you just need to calm down. Yeah. You know, not force it on the offensive end. Run that offense. 
Move that ball, let Brockton play that D. Keep them moving. Couple players going to work on the shoes and the socks here. Brendan White, Chathan Nera. Quick timeout there on the court. Maybe just catch an extra breath. <laughs> and now here we go again. So 22-19 the score. Durfee ahead in a low scoring defensive Great affair. Great hands by Joe Camara. Nice Good feet pass. to Salmon. Oh, it doesn't go. Joe Camara somehow gets the rebound. Trying to free himself. He gets stripped. Brendan White's going to go up to uh, Kaba. Kaba going to put it in for two. And that's just real tough to take right there. You had the open shot. And again, poor Nick. That's happened to him a couple times tonight where he just couldn't get it to fall. Right. Um, again, you got to take advantage of those opportunities. Try it again. A reprieve. A that one's play. good. And that was just spectacular passing there. Yeah. Great finish. Beautiful look. Uh, great unselfishness by Brendan White. Nice he knew pass. Nick wanted a reprieve. Yeah. <laughs> probably said in passing, Nick probably told him, you get the ball, get it back to me. I got to make that shot. Right. And that's what good teammates do, Ev. You know, mm. have faith have faith in your teammates. Missed, missed one, go right back to him so he can get, get his confidence back up. Turnover for Durfee. Turnover for Brockton here, three seconds in the lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can't happen. That's so our, our main official here, he, he's been... He's been right on top of every little detail tonight. Yeah, again, I got to tell you. And that call is right in front of the official. And he had, he yeah. had no effort to get out of the lane. You know? Out to Joe Camara. Now to Nick Salmon. Has a lane in the paint. Oh, it doesn't on go. A foul. And he does get the foul. Coach, I don't think, you know, forget the foul. I don't think Coach is, I think Coach is not happy that he went for the dunk instead of just taking the shot. It seems like he right. was more aggravated with Nick. I'm not sure. Maybe I could be wrong, but. Need the, needless to say, that probably would have been an easy floater instead of trying to do the flashy right. shot. I think maybe that's the point, but Nick gets two shots out of it here. He'll make the first. Follows on 24 for Brockton. Okenbar, his second. Team second. And Salmon knocks down both. Three for four at the line tonight, and he has seven points now for this quarter. Demarje Taylor passing it back and forth with Abu Kaba. Now to the corner. Precious, Oka, no good that time. What a rebound, loose ball, Salmon diving for it. Who wants it? Oh my goodness, it's a mad scramble and now a foul called. First and 10, Evan. <laughs> really? It's like, I thought we had the Thanksgiving football game here. Yeah. Jathan Nara is gonna get called on another foul. It's gonna be his third. It's a tough one, everybody's down there in the pig, in the pig pen basically trying to get that ball. And unfortunately, some person was going to get the tough luck foul out of right. it. Well, Coach Gimon keeping Chaitin there in the game with three. Well, they know they need him. I yeah. mean, it's a different team without him. Look at that underneath, that little scoop. The rebound, nil and Nera. Can Brockton kind of force him there, kind of a low, low percentage shot. Salmon loses it, draws another foul. He'll take two more. Nate, Nick Salmon taking it strong and under control. Third foul for Okenburg, second straight for him. Coach Bowen's gonna start thinking here. Team's third. All right, Salmon with a chance to make this a six point game. Largest lead of the night, and he does. 27-21. And yes, Okenburg's gonna take a seat. He'll give way to Glenn Doherty. Tyshawn Glenn Doherty. I told you we'd get our money's worth with the names tonight. <laughs> Can I buy a vowel, Evan? <laughs> I know, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. What is no? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oka, Oka wants a three. He got Unbelievable. It. This kid is something from downtown, I'll tell you. The threes are a rally killer. Cuts it to four. Oka's got three field goals, all three pointers for nine points. This is what he did in that first meeting. Had three alone in the fourth. Good underneath. Nice Nil and Nera in the book. First points of the night. Oh boy, I love seeing, when Jameson and Matt both get up, I mean, they're both directing traffic. The, their, their faces are the same. Are they calling that on Chathan as well? Or they're seeing oh. two shots. 22, Nillen with the foul. His second. Team second. Taylor in the on the line for two. 
And he misses. I'll tell you, one Achilles heel for Brockton tonight. Not been very good at the line. Uh, let's see, they've had eight shots. They've only made three. So three for eight so far from my count. And that one does fall, though, so four for nine. They had, an, they had a, a one and one. They missed the first. Yeah, so four for nine. Now, now Brockton come in with a three, three quarter press. Joe almost lost it there. He's gonna go down Four's here to caught. Brendan White. Wants another from downtown. He's matching Oka. Three Brendan field White. goals. Three field goals. Three threes. Trifecta. There you go. Nine points. Eight point game. What is going on down on the court there? Players down. They look like uh, WWE wrestling yeah. in there, uh, F down there. Chaitin, uh, undersized, but he's got fight. Well, I think um, he was probably afraid to draw a foul. I think he was correct. just trying to get away. Right. And unfortunately, a bad pass. It went out of bounds. Brockton's going to get another look at it. But uh, Durfee really offensively and defensively looking to have the upper hand in the third quarter. Now Durfee in that 3-2 zone. Nillen. Oh, my goodness. Oka again. Somebody's going to guard him, Evan. Unbelievable. Somebody's I mean, and Nillen had the hand in there right there. I don't know how much more you can do. Well, this is the press. This is the press. It. Nice job. Now, look at White's alone nice again. Job. Can he hit it? Oh. No good that time. Oh, the that crowd was a great wanted it. It was. A great look. <laughs> it's as good of a look as you're going to get. Yeah. Little pull up from Oka. No good. The put back from Glenn Doherty. Good for two. Quick little uh, 5 0 run here now for Brockton. Closes the gap, and we got our first timeout of the game. More than 200,000 students will participate in approximately 100,000 high school sports competitions among the MIAA's 360 member schools this year. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association encourages you to support your local high school athletic programs and the students who participate in them. I'll take a breath now. All right. <laughs> they make us do that, but it's okay. Well, it's an know, MIAA game. Absolutely. We, we got we to gotta shout out to the MIAA. We of want, course. do a lot of great things. Uh, for all our student athletes in the Commonwealth. Uh, they promote uh, sportsmanship, wellness, do a lot of great things, community service. Um, so it's all about those life lessons as being an athlete. Certainly. Well, I'll tell you, just like in the first matchup, Precious Oka carrying the team now for Brockton uh, with back-to-back -back threes uh, for him here. He's got four threes for 12 points. And uh, what was an eight-point game has quickly gone down to a three-point game. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. When you when you rely on a three pointers, you know you hit two, hit one or two, it swings swings things pretty quickly. Yeah, you know. And you know, Durfee missed a couple shots. <clears throat> Brendan White, the recent, so he had a three and then he lost a three, or missed a three. Yeah, that one tipped out of bounds. But you're right. You know, there's now a press here from Brockton, and I think maybe yeah. that's toying with Durfee a bit because they don't have that open center court. Yeah, again, it's 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 making uh, Durfee adjust and play at a slower pace. Yeah, Durfee's had their way for much of this third quarter. Down to Nillen, who was alone. Back to Joe now. Joe going to try to go in the paint. Underneath to Nick. Outside to Nillen. Nillen needs a three, and he's not going to get it there. Brendan White tips it, and it's going to really be Durfee ball. I really felt that Nick should have taken that layup on a nice pass by Joe Kamara. But again, maybe a little bit too unselfish. Threw it out there to Nillen. Good look, yeah. but I thought he might have had the layup on the baseline. Probably would have drawn a foul, too. Joe got to get the inbound. Chaitin's all alone. Quick release three. That's long. Yeah, that's, we don't need that. Um, had an opportunity for uh, for another possession. Yeah, so that's what we don't want is Durfee to get away from what's been working for Correct. them. Uh, and they've really done a good job at keeping a good balance. And a couple bricks thrown up here in this uh, in this third quarter, and it's resulted in misses. But there's that's a great strip. Great hands by nice pass. Nillanera to the basket, can't get it to fall. 90 seconds to play in the third and Brockton with a chance to tie again. Jumping around for dear life was Karan Harris, nobody saw him. And now uh, Demarje Taylor getting some instructions from the coach before passing it along. Oka, no good, the rebound and the foul to Okanlola. First points of the game and he could tie it up. Chaitan Nera called on his fourth foul. And that's not good with an entire quarter to play. Again, you know, I would have, as, as, as a former coach myself, Evan, I, I would have taken Nera out with three fouls. To uh, so you don't chance this? Correct. Yeah. Correct. 
Correct. Because uh, he took him out the first half with two. Yeah. I would have taken him out again with three. Uh, your bench players are playing pretty good. D. Oliveira came in and played pretty well. And uh, Kid Lowe's played pretty well. So, again, is you know, he, he could have had some options. I would have taken him out. But it's easier said than done he, sitting here than sitting on the sideline. Well, uh, now a foul on, on Brockton. Glenn Doherty gets one on that free throw, which missed. So another missed so free Brockton, throw for Brockton, and only a, four for ten. And a 1-2-2 one, two, two full court press. Knicks taking down the middle. Great look. Nice. There you go. That's a, another reprieve from the miss that Nillen just had moments ago. So uh, and Durfee, uh, everybody's pressure's, stepping up. The pressure's not affecting the Hilltoppers. They're no, they just... a good job it, of, of, of breaking down the defense. For the lead, Oka again! you got to be kidding me. Actually, that's for the tie. My bad, but still... This kid is something else. Five threes, uh, Evan. Oh my gosh! Uh, when is Durfee going to get out on a shooter? You know. Yeah, that's 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 in my opinion. After the last gotta, game, that's five too many. You got to shade his side. Know where he's at at all times, guys. He can shoot wow. the basketball. <laughs> it's incredible. I mean, real every shot's been a three, and he only I think he's only missed one or two. Right. Now a fifth. Here's a one consolation prize. Brockton just picked up foul number five. And we're not even out of the third yep. quarter. Nick Doherty's, Salmon puts Doherty's it up. second. Yeah, so back to back for him. Now Oka trying to go, and look at that. Wide open take. Brockton ahead. They've erased an eight point deficit. This is the kind of run. Whoa. Oka's first two point field goal of the evening. Nillen out to White. White could not set. It was a tough pass. Instead, he'll go to the basket. Good take. Draw the foul. Six fouls. No more to give for Brockton, and we got a whole quarter to play. That Durfee's hitting the free throws. They've only missed one. Uh, right. They've missed two. I'm sorry. So I'll tell you, the kid Oka has, has kept his team on his back uh, and got him, got him ahead by two just yeah. because of that three point shot. We talked about that earlier. Oh, and a miss for White. It's exactly, exactly what Antone did for New Bedford in that last game. Correct. It's the same thing. And I mean, this is this is that kind of run. Second shot made kind of run that we're talking about Brockton can go on. Durfee's got to really buckle down in this fourth quarter. You can't miss the baskets when you have the ball. Absolutely not. Ten seconds. Another three. Oka alone. That one by uh, sheer luck did not go down. But how do you leave a but guy again, like that wide, wide open, open right in the end. corner. Right. You know, the 3-2, that's the seventh foul now for uh, Yeah, it's going to put Nilan Nera uh, on the line for a one and one Yeah. But you've got to know where 14 is at all times. You you gotta, know, I wonder you if they're going to go to a man-to-man. -man. Either that you know, just a, to, a, to a make sure he's covered. One, maybe a boxing one. Something, yeah, something. Something to change it up. You know, and, and, and make Coach Bowen of the boxers adjust. Yeah, and make somebody else have to take a shot. Because this kid's having his way right now. 11 points. That one does fall. Ties us up. Shoot his touch. I guess so. Maybe a little gravitational pull or something, but... You know, let's 11 points for Oka. It's 11 points too many in one quarter. Oh. Out of bounds. Durfee with 2.4 is going to get the ball and try to take a lead here before the fourth quarter starts up. Let's see what Durfee runs here. Uh, Sideline quick hitter here. Chaitan Nera directing traffic. Nick Salmon, the shot clock's not going. What is going on? That's in the half, right? They're saying that was enough time to run off anyway, yeah. so. Well, again. Hey, guess what? We're tied again. <laughs> We're tied again. Nick Salmon with a huge third quarter. Uh, Brendan White with a great third quarter as well. Let's not forget Nil and Nera also chipping in. I mean, this was an offensive third quarter, much different than the first half. Absolutely. Um, both teams came, came out to play this, sec this third quarter. Uh, Brockton came out with some pressure defense. Kind of took uh, Durfee a little bit off balance, but Durfee answered the call. If they make a few layups, um, again, we, we could have been leading by a few more points. But uh, it's a chess match right now, Evan, back and forth. Uh, Durfee ne needs to stop number 14. He cannot take any more open looks. No. Wherever he's at, someone's got to be on him. Make it, put it to the floor, and pass the ball. You know what it is? He's hiding in the corners. That's the whole thing. He's taking these shots from the corners, and by the time somebody gets all the way down there, they're it's go, already off. The shot's already know, gone. Coach going to tell his troops, know where 14 is at all times. This is a good word from Vic. Here's a good word from the MIAA. 
High school sports provide an extension of the classroom where students learn to pursue excellence, the value of working with others toward a common goal, playing within the structure of established rules, discipline, loyalty, and emotional control. The MIAA urges you to demonstrate your support for these values and for our young people attending high school competitions in your community. Fourth quarter begins here. Do or die time for both sides. Winner goes on. Loser goes home. And there's a three ball. No good. Nil and Nera with the box out and the rebound. I think a difference here, too, is uh, Brockton's over, over the limit. Durfee's only got three team fouls right now. Yeah, that could be huge down the stretch because, again, Durfee's making, you know, well over 50%. There was a heck of a lot of contact right yep. there, but no foul called. Big play as well is Coach Guimon is going with Chaitan Nera with four team, four personal fouls. Yeah. And he's out there at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Got to do what you got to do in a one-game playoff, yep. I guess, right? Yeah. Because then you then you chance second-guessing yourself if you took him out. Brendan White with 10 points tonight, by the way. Seven in that last quarter. How about a nice night to the basket. That was uh, Lewis uh, Charles for two. Boy, Topper's just trying to get it inbound here. Good press by Brockton, kind of a scramble almost. Nick Salmon almost loses it, keeps it, gets Great it to play. Joe. Underneath, nice waits play. for two. Joe was quiet in the third. Starts off the fourth. Nick Salmon, great heads up play. Unbelievable. <laughs> they needed that. And a foul, plus one. Taylor for two. Uh, on the plus ones tonight, they've only had one of those and they missed it, so we'll see what happens here. Nick Salmon called on the foul. His second. Actually, this is their second and one. I missed one down below that I didn't see. So uh, they've missed both of those. So Taylor can uh, go with the old-fashioned three-point play. Mm -hmm. I think we're ready to get going here again. <laughs> a little bit of a pause. Makes it a one-point game if it goes. I'm sorry, a three-point game there. There we go. It did go. Durfee down by three. They led by as much as eight in that third quarter. I mean, I like what they're doing. They're kind of getting everybody involved, or as many as they can involved. Pretty balanced scoring. Nillen back to Joe, now to Chathan. To nice White in the corner, wants another three. He did, you called it! Tied at 42. Another low, I'll tell you though, another low scoring game. Durfee's been able to contain Brockton. That's really the difference. White is on Oka, doesn't matter. A three ball answered by Lewis Charles. Five points right out of the gate in the fourth quarter. Chathan to Nillen. To White, oh a travel Travels, called yes. on Nillen Nara. I'll tell you, White was all alone under there too. That would have been an easy two points. Again. Foolish mistakes there. Could have taken to the basket on an automatic situation. Right idea. Kind of rushed the pass a little bit, Evan. 14 on the far side. This is for three from Taylor. No good. Brendan White with a hop, skip, and a jump to get there. Timeout called by Coach Gimon. That's, great, That's great, great awareness great right there. It Could, certainly is. Kind of. Kind of came close to a, a five-second call there, mm -hmm. but a great timeout call by Coach Guimon. Absolutely. We'll get out our fourth PSA here. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association is committed to good sportsmanship. Sportsmanship, citizenship, and responsibility are the trademarks of high school activities. Support school activities with your own display of good sportsmanship and help encourage America's youth to accept the responsibility which freedom demands. Support your local high school, see the future of America on display, and attend high school competitions in your community. That's the last one, Vic. Good job, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make them happy. You gotta make them gotta happy. Make them happy. Exactly. So again, you know, we talked about it. Wednesday would be the next game for whomever wins this one. They'll go to yeah. Mansfield. Mansfield. Mansfield, 20 and two, the number one seed. That's a tall order. Yeah, it is a tall order, <laughs> but hey. 
There have been numerous times where the top seeds have gone down. That's true. That's why we got to play them. It might be the better, better team on paper, Evan, but that's why we got to show up and play. Not over till it's over. And that Absolutely. same can be said here. We have 544 to play in one of these teams' seasons. Durfee down by three. And trying to get the ball out of the uh, backcourt here. here. Nillen to Nick. Brendan White open again. They're going to go to him. Does not take the three. This time he loses the ball. It's thrown up. Joe there. Off yes. the fingertips. 14 for number 14. And there is the 14 for Brockton. Oka, it does not go. He thought about three, and he was quickly covered up. Look at the steal. Nil and Nera forced that one right there. And Big Brother's there to take it away. Great defense on Durfee's side, being very aggressive. Toppers with a chance to take the lead back. They trail by one. This is for three. Nil and Nera, no good. Brendan White gets pushed away, sends down uh, Lewis Charles to the ground. There's Oka all alone. No good. White tips it away. It's a loose ball, and the boxers still come away with it. Going to the hoop is That's Lewis Charles. It's an offensive charge going the other way. Nick Salmon took that charge again. That's his second one. He Great comes job. up limping this time. A little grin on his face. Maybe you're right. Maybe that acting school is helping out, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> Great job. Lewis Charles on the charge and the turnover forced. Of course, when it's offensive, you won't get the one and one, just adds to the fouls. Correct. Uh, oh, they want to wipe up the court. Yeah, you know, we don't have guys mopping the court here. This is not the NBA. Not the so NBA, yeah. <laughs> the officials and, have the pleasure of and, doing and that, the thing too. And they uh, raised the uh, minimum wage rate, so. You know, <laughs> the school budget, I don't think they can afford it with part time help. <laughs> oh, man. When does our pay rate go up, though, Vic? Right. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, back out to the game, man. Yeah, of, of course. Right? We love this. This is a lot of fun. It's really been yeah. a great game. Yeah. Nillen, nice no shot, but the foul on the court. That's oh. number nine for number Brockton. Nine, yeah. Foul on an 11. So that's his actually first. his first. And a one and one here. Nillen, Chathan. Uh, Chathan rather, I'm sorry. Chathan has no points tonight. What's going on there? Okay. I thought he had at least one basket. Well, he's got a chance to get in the book right now, yeah. and this would be a big one. Tied game, 45 all, and he'll take another shot. Well, yeah, Chathan does all the little things, Evan, you know. Yeah. Uh, plays the point. Um, he does, you know, does all the little things. And you know what, maybe yeah, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet, you know? Exactly. You know, maybe not the biggest offensive game for him individually, but there's a reason he's got four fouls. He's been in on every play defensively. Over the top, pretty, pretty shot from Okenburg, his first basket tonight. Brockton back up and a steal. Oka, no good. No good again. And then the foul through on the third time. I think it was actually uh, Kaba who put that in. 15. Got Almost it. certain of it. We're going to give Cobb the points there. And the 10th foul for Brockton. And foul on 14, his first. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This could be a big difference maker for Durfee here. With 4.05 to play, they got an automatic two shots the rest of the way. And Chase Denera, who just hit two, going to get two more shots. Very infrequently do you see Durfee get to be a you know, double bonus. Usually it's the other way around. If I'm be <laughs> we're Absolutely. being honest here, it really, it's usually the other way around. And Durfee has done a very good job uh, staying within themselves in terms of being careful with the fouls. Two shots for Chathan Nera. Hilltoppers. Now trail by one, 49-48. Got to find 14, Evan. There Gotta he is. Got to find 14. And he's alone right now. Gotta Look out. 14. He wants it. And he wanted to take the shot. Travel called, no. Three seconds. Well, three seconds. That's a second three second call yeah. on, on I told Brockton. you, he's sharp. He's calling no. everything. Yeah. And Coach Bowen wants the explanation. Again, no, no real argument, but just saying, you know, questioning the call. Brendan White trying to get around. And he draws the foul. Two shots. 
Now we'll just count individual fouls because uh, team is maxed out. Foul on Taylor, his third. White in, on the line for two. Brendan White is only one for two, just one trip. Hits that one. Like I said, now we're tied. I think free throws are going to be the difference here if Durfee can shut down 14. Everybody else has been pretty quiet in the Got second it. half, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, an 11 point third quarter for Oka, if it wasn't for him, this wouldn't even be a one point game. Brendan White kind of coming, being that type, that looked like a travel to me. Wow. Good for two. Yeah, everybody's saying it's a travel. I'd have to agree with you there. I didn't even see who made the shot, to be honest with you. There was, was a lot of traffic. Number 11. What was that? That was sent off. Harris. In, that was sent to the outfield. <laughs> that was a bad pass. Durf, he gives up the ball on a, another tough inbounder. Yeah, Durfee cannot afford to turn the ball over, Evan. No. Got to take care of the basketball. Harris wants three. No good. Nil and Nera there. Gives it to Nick Salmon. And here's your full court press again. He almost lost it. Almost a travel, too. They want White in the corner. Just calm down. Pull it out. Pull it out. Now Nillen wants a three. Yes, sir! <laughs> Two-point lead for Durfee. Big, big shot. Nillen Nera. Six man coming alive, Vic. Here's Oka for the three. That's wide to the right. Tipped out of bounds. That was that was Brockton ball. The, well, I mean, I, I Brockton that, didn't touch it. That the Durfee player could have grabbed it. You always want to grab that ball. I knew Durfee hit it last. I'm shocked that they just let it go. Yeah, I think. Well, that was a mental breakdown right I there. I think Brendan White and Nillen Merrick assumed that it was out on Brockton. It certainly was. I, I mean, I saw that from here. Yeah, but you know, always want to grab that ball. If you can grab it, grab it. Don't rely on if you think that it could be ours. No, you got to take, take take the ball. Take the chance and grab it. Yes. Because, you know, absolutely. someone comes charging in, maybe you draw another foul. Exactly. 53-51. Uh, great game, Evan. It really, this I has been a great it's game. It's going to come down to the end. Both uh, teams are playing as best as they can absolutely. right now, and it's really been absolutely. It's been head-to-head -head the whole time. Um, Durfee's going to get on 14. Uh, he's been contested the last few times down. Yeah. Missed a few shots. Durfee's going to take care of that basketball. Calm down, break the pressure, run the offense, get good shots. You know, and time is on your side now when you're leading. Obviously, a two-possession game would be a little more comfortable, especially with Brockton's three balls tonight. But, um, you know, as you said, two-point game, 250 to play. And, um, yes, I'd say slow it down, take your time, make the quality shots. I agree, Evan. No substitution. Yep, they're gonna make him wait. I think, was that a Glenn Doherty, I think, 21. Gotta get it in. Little bouncer, Chaitanera, be careful of the fouls. He's got four. There's Oka in the corner. Nillen now on him. They've changed things around defensively. Coach Gimon, I think has seen enough of Precious Oka. <laughs> I agree, I'm, I, I've seen enough of Precious Oka. <laughs> I mean, great player. Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. And one for the foul. Taylor with a beautiful move and a finish. It really. Oh. It's as pretty as it gets right there. Durfee oh, will pick up this fifth. He drew the foul. Nick Salmon picking up number three. Taylor with a chance at another three-point hey, play. Give credit to Taylor. That was oh, a yeah. good move. He went uh, right. He threaded the needle, basically. There was no room to be had, and he created the lane. Chance to take the lead back. 53 all, but a three point swing possible here. Here we go. No good. Who wants it? Chate the Nera there will stay tied. Gotta slow it down. Well, they're not slowing it down, though. They're going a full tilt. Brendan White, no good. Well, that's a tough foul. Oh, that was a tough foul. That's a real tough foul. Joe had all ball there. That's Joe's second foul. I'm not sure where that foul came from, Vic. Yeah. That's probably the first that I'm not too thrilled about. The problem about. was is this, Evan, is that the defensive player made no contact with, with, with Camaro. There was a gap between both players. Yeah. It's not over the back. Yeah. If he boxed out and went over the top, absolutely. Yeah. That wasn't the case there. No. Bad pass, but they recover. 
Taylor's been really good this fourth quarter. There's another one who wants that's, to re That's over the top, absolutely. There you go. So, well, maybe a makeup make call? Makeup call, yes. <laughs> that's called home cooking right there. Fouls on Okabor, his fourth foul. Two shots. Two shots. Nillen Nera. Every free throw right now, every last two minutes of the game is extremely important. Nillen uh, made it to the line back in the third. He's one for two. Make it two for three. Toppers back in front, 2 one on the clock. Winner will head to Mansfield on Wednesday. Two for two is Nillen Nera. And how about this, 10 points for him. Not a nice yeah, night. Yeah, he really showed up the second half, Evan, especially the fourth quarter. Look out for Oka. Another shot. Another three. I mean, white flag, I give. <laughs> you had two guys on him. I mean, if you go any closer, well, you're you going to draw a foul. You, you got you to let him put it to the floor. He's yeah. going to put the ball to the floor. Get yeah. right up on him. Make, it, make him dribble the basketball. Yeah. Make him Amazing dribble Amazing stuff. I mean, really. Well, 20, points, 20 points for him. Can you imagine? And, and he only had six in the first half. And that's six threes, Evan. Six threes, six yep. Six threes. Um, again, it's putting, unbelievable. Putting on a shooting clinic. Yeah, he, I mean, he is. This is you know? so much. This is like deja vu with uh, Lamar Antone from New Bedford, the last yeah. game we did, yeah. where he carried New Bedford. He did carry New I Bedford. I mean, this is exactly. Yeah, very similar tonight. And, yeah. But this kid is just putting on a shooting shooting clinic. And, again, I would get up on him, and I would tell the guy, I want to get you so close, I want to know what type of gum he's chewing, you know? <laughs> That's what I would tell my players. So, in other words, get in the bubble. Get that in the personal ball, yes. space. Make them, make them feel uncomfortable, Evan, yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, a buck 47 left in the season for one of these two teams. It's been back and forth all night. I mean, how many lead changes? My gosh. Back and forth, them. I mean, we kind of we kind of knew this was coming. Yeah. How, how that first half was being played. Yeah. Um, Durfee sticking to their game plan. Uh, Rockton bringing it defensively the second half. Um, again, 147 left. It's anybody's ball game. Here's where you cross your fingers and look at the stats. Durfee, only one team has won a quarter. We finished tied twice. Yep. Durfee won the first quarter by one point. Yep. Maybe that makes the difference. We'll see. Brendan White back to Chathan. Well, now Brockton in that 2-3 zone kind of surprising me that they're not staying with the pressure. No, and it's allowing Durfee to take some time yep. off the clock. But yep. Durfee trails, they got to make the shot. Yep. Seven seconds on that shot clock. Got to take a shot. Running out of time. Chathan with a desperation three. No good. And coming down with the rebound is Okenbur. Not a good 30 Again, seconds. That great call by Coach Bowen going to that zone. And Durfee had to adjust in his own offense. Kind didn't of took happen. A, you know, kind of rushed the shot a little bit towards the end there. Well, he didn't have a choice. The clock was ticking down That's to zero. Correct. Yep. Now Oka all alone again. Look at this. Wide open. No, they're going to go underneath. And a foul drawn by Nillen Nera. Or should I say put on by Nillen Nera. Durfee with this seventh. Now bonus shots for Brockton. And it'll be Glenn Doherty at the line. Right now he's one for two. He's got two shots. Yep. Two more shots for him. Of course, this is uh, it was on the shot. So he misses. Oh, boy. Six man getting loud now. I mean, it's crunch time. We're under a minute to go. Absolutely. 51.4 seconds to play. A 56-55 Brockton lead. Toppers are sick of losing to Brockton. They want to win. I mean, very rarely do you face a team three times in a season. Very difficult beating the team three times, Evan. You're right. Um, Again, it's st still enough time here. Oh, good look underneath, That's and the foul. Save. Brendan White will take two more shots. He made his last two. He's three for four. He had his five. Oh, that five was Okenberg. Okenberg. Well, that's big right there for the last 30 seconds or so to not have him. So he's done. They're going to bring in Oken Lola. All right, big free throws here, Evan. Huge. Um, okay, talk about being clutch. This is this is where you earn your earn your keep here. Yeah, again, How Brendan. How well can you shoot the ball under pressure? Brendan White with 15 points. He's made his last four. He only missed one tonight. So four for five. 
And this one for the tie. It's good. And timeout is called. All right, Ed. Oh, baby. <laughs> can we go to overtime? I don't know if my voice can handle overtime, Vic. I know. <laughs> I got two more games to do this week, regardless of this one. You know? <laughs> Diamond Girls uh, get to host a game on Wednesday. Oh, nice. So if, if this doesn't turn out Durfee's way, we'll be at Diamond. If Durfee wins, we'll be on the road. So either way, Wednesday there's a game. Either way and the working. Diamond Boys with Nick Santos... Head coach, first playoff appearance in nearly a decade. Nine-year drought ended. Nice. These guys finished second in the Mayflower to Blue Hills. They play up at uh, South Shore Christian Academy at Eastern uh, well, Nazarene's well, Court. Well, good luck to the Bengals, both both, yeah. both uh, uh, boys and girls. Uh, AD there, Keith Down does a great job. Keith is a hoot, I'll yeah, tell you. He's, great he's guy, something yeah, else. Job. And I, I, wish, I wish the Diamond team is the very best. Yeah, so that game will be Thursday up in Quincy. So we'll be hitting the road on Thursday. But um, you know, again, got to figure out Wednesday, and it's going to come down to get come down to tonight's matchup, and you know who wins. That's that's where we'll figure out Wednesday after tonight. So, you got it. well, Evan, right now it's 34 seconds left. It's it's who's going to execute better, the defensive side or the offensive side. That's what's going to determine the outcome of this game. Nick Salmon trying to so get the crowd up. So let's see what happens here. You know, the Durfee D has been there all night long. If it's going to get loud. If they can limit Oka, he's all alone in the corner again. Joe yeah. Kamara's left them open because they're not playing necessarily man-to-man -man at the moment. They're going to pull time off the clock, and they're going to get it to Oka. Here we go. But Taylor's been dangerous too, so we've got to be careful of yeah. him. But Oka, you can't get him the outside shot. Pulls back. That's for two. No good. The putback. No good. And now a foul. Yes. Again, Brockton's offensive rebounding. Coach Keeman wanted the jump ball. I think that foul might be on Nick Salmon. I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah, it is. His fourth. So now two shots for Brockton. Tell you what, that might not be a bad foul. Let's see if he can. Uh, not a very good free throw shooter. And the loudest it's been in here all night. He missed the first one. Coach Guimond staying box what out. Coach Guimond do with nine seconds left to get the rebound. Will he call a timeout, Evan, and run a last second play? I think you got it. You know? Then you start at half court, right? Yeah. Oh, oh that one does go. Oh, Coach Bowen with the timeout. How about that? I didn't expect that. I thought oh, Jameson no, would. When we used to play, and the guy used to shoot the ball off the backboard from the free throw line, yeah. he would have to call it. Yeah. Right? And we used to say banks are open at uh, <laughs> almost 8 o'clock tonight. But, hey, give, give the kid credit. He made the second free throw. Yeah. Now can Durfee execute? Here you go. Your season comes down to 9.3 seconds, and that's yep. it. Um, what I, a, I'll tell you, what a disappointment would this be for Durfee. I mean, yeah, yeah you had an eight-point game. Brockton went on their little third-quarter run. Oka's been big off the bench again, but you've stayed with them. You've shot when you had to, and you're only down by one. You can win it right now. You have possession. Yep. You know, what if Brockton commits the stupid foul? You get two uh, shots. Exactly. Durfee's going to be aggressive, uh, execute what Coach Guimond and Coach Kurt are, are uh, diagramming on, uh, during the timeout. I think Brockton's going to come out with some pressure. Yep, full court. Not make things very comfortable for Durfee. And again, whoever's gonna, who's going to execute better, the offense or the defense? Well, I think they got to come out full court because you don't want, if Durfee can't get across center court, it's taking time off the clock, then you get the desperation shot. And no, and I made an error too. We're not starting at half because it was off the free throw. So yeah, full court. Yeah, it's not like the NBA where you call a timeout. It's where, it's where the, the, the... But it looks like they're going, they're going to stick to a zone, it looks like. Going man. Or man to man, you're yeah. right, actually, my yeah. bad. This is for the win with three seconds. Nillen for three. No good. The season. Oh. All right, with two point, point two seconds on the clock, how do you make a shot on an inbound? How is that even possible? Well, it's a quick catch and shoot, Evan. Man, oh man. Point two seconds. I think they're looking for more time. Uh, 
I didn't catch all of that. Yeah, I think the officials are just making sure that uh, they start the clock at the right time. Uh, because uh, it doesn't, it doesn't start while the ball's in. As soon no. as the player who receives the inbound. It's, it's going to be a quick catch and shoot, Evan. Quick you know, i got to be honest with you. I think Nillen's had a great night, but he's missed a lot of threes tonight, and I really didn't like that look. All they needed yeah. were two shots, I think, uh, two points. I think, All they needed was a layup. Right, they didn't I, need the outside shot. In that shot. situation, you always want to go to the basket. Yeah. Make that defense. Then you draw a foul. Out, right. So, again, Duffy did a nice job there cutting it out. Was it? A, was it a? Could we got a better shot? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I'm kind of. I have to be honest. I'm surprised, and that might have been the first bad decision made by either side tonight. Why go with an outside shot when you can charge the lane? You've been drawing fouls. Uh, kind of disappointing, to be honest. Yeah. A little disappointed by that. Yeah, what's going yes. on here? Six players on the floor, no. Nope. That is a technical foul, is it not? Everybody's calling. Coach Gimon's not happy. Coach Kurtz asked, this is awful. Who's controlling the game, Vic? Well, the issue here is I don't think the ball was ever was ever handed into the to the player, so they got the player off the court. They're saying six players on the court, which yeah. there was. Yeah. But I don't think the ball was handed yet to the player, so. So Joe didn't have the ball? Correct, correct. Well, then that's, that's good that's eyes, because I didn't yes. see through everybody. The, the official on the baseline did not hand the player the ball. And now there's still confusion. Brad Buston's right involved there, too. We're talking with uh, the head scorer here, Margaret Gannon, our team scorer. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Who, who, who checked in? I just disallowed. It's not a technical foul. Okay? It's not a technical foul. I mean, I got to tell you, our official tonight here, our head official, he's been on top of everything. Yeah, I think a couple I, tough calls, but well, you're going to get that. have been very consistent both yeah. ways. You know, let the boys play, call the obvious. And, you know, Jamison has to be careful not to blow a stack here because you don't want to get called on a tech as yeah, a coach. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, I, you know. I think the call, if it, they changed it, but the, that player has to have the ball. If there's six players on the floor, it's a technical foul. Yeah. So it comes down to <sighs> always one some drama, play, Vic. Evan. Always, always some drama. Is, you know. And uh, like I said, I mean, this is this is tough here for the Hilltoppers to swallow if it doesn't go their way because it's off. Oh, oh, no good. Unbelievable. Well, Evan, <laughs> uh, I give credit to Coach Jamison and his boys. They played their guts out and their hearts out today. Oh, they, they did. Nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, great season, um, and I wish Brockton the best moving forward. Yeah, and we certainly do. And you know, this was. You know, there were some shots missed, obviously, from both sides. So offensively, you know, a little sloppy. But I'd say both teams in a high-pressure game really brought it as best as they could. And this was as good as it gets to, um, you know, to we're getting screened here by people. They don't yeah, know. That's okay. <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, people are going to file out. Thanks, Padek. Great job up there with the camera going handheld. But, um, you know, comes down to sometimes... Tough decisions you draw up, and yes, Nillen was open, yeah. but at least from my seat, I would have never gone with a three ball there. Yes. Not going to yeah. second guess, coach. Right. They're but, down on the court, but yeah, for me, take it to the hoop. You're drawing fouls, you're getting the calls. Take a shot. Don't go for three. Yeah, I'm surprised you know, by that. I really am. It came down to the last position, as yeah. we said, it was going to come down to the wire. Uh, I give both teams great uh, credit, and he came out you know, and, and gave the crowd a, a great game tonight, Evan. Um, again, players have nothing to be ashamed about for Durfee. No, not at all. They left it all on the court. Um, and again, future's bright for Durfee. Got a lot of great players. Losing some, some great leadership with uh, with Nick and um, Joe Kamara. But again, well, a Joe's a pleasure. junior, right? Chaitin, junior, though. Chaitin, yeah. Chaitin, yes. Um, but again, great job. It's just unfortunate that Durfee had to come on the losing end. Well, I'll tell you, we, as you said, we congratulate Brockton. I mean, it is so hard to beat a team twice, to beat a team three times and come in on the road. You get, again, the tough tough luck of the coin toss to, to determine where you're going to play. Right. And, you know, Brockton did what they had to do, and they yep. came out on top as well. So It takes a little luck as well, Evan. And, yeah. uh, again, unfortunately, the luck was on the boxer side tonight. 
All right. Well, Vic, hey, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I'm so glad you were able to join me for a couple games this year, hey, man, enough, okay? Thank thanks for inviting me. It was a great pleasure to be back. It's always great to be back here. Uh, you guys do a great job here, and uh, I wish everybody the very best for spring season, Ev. I know oh, you're, yeah. I know you're going to be remember, busy. But remember, though, not done yet. Two Diamond playoff games yep. coming up. They're on the docket this week now. Very Unfortunately, good. again, Durfee on the short end of the stick tonight, yep. but that means we'll be at Diamond Wednesday, and we head on the road to Quincy for the Diamond Boys exactly. on Thursday. So great. lots more coming on Fred TV this week. Be sure to stay tuned. Beautiful. All right, thanks to the crew behind the scenes again. Our student crew getting it done for us. For Vic Pereira, the crew behind the scenes, I'm Evan Massoud. We'll see you soon.